Okay, so tonight what we're going to do is we're going to look at some introduction to probability symbols and connecting words. Sometimes you're going to be looking at the probability of more than one thing happening at the same time. And we'll do lots of examples of that. And I'm going to use Education Perfect just because they have such good illustrations, etc. It should go pretty fast, so don't panic. All right? So the first thing we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to look at calculating probabilities using the descriptions. And they say that we learned from the last lesson. We're actually going to learn them now, talk about them now. So here are some of them. You can see the word not, right? You have the word or, at least, or but not both, and and. We're going to concentrate on the most common ones, which are or and and, but you're going to see some at least and some not as well. And we talked a little bit about not today when we talked about calculating complements. Okay, so let's go back to the lesson. The first thing we're going to look at is a little notation for probabilities. And you may have seen these two symbols in the, in the past. They come from set notation. Anytime you have the big U shape, that stands for union. Okay, so probability of A, union B is how this is read. The, the U shape is upside down. That stands for intersection. Okay, so this is read as the probability of A intersect B. Okay, and they talk a little bit about what future lessons we're going to talk about Venn diagrams later, and this is used quite a lot in those Venn diagrams. So let's talk a little bit about union. Union means together, right? And where things intersect, that's when they are the same. So think about the intersection of, a, of two roads, for example. That's the part of the road where they both come together, right? They're the same at that point in the intersection. So you think about the intersection. Please excuse my drawing. This part belongs to both roads at the same time, okay? Now, if you want the union of those two roads, it's everything, both roads all together. Okay? And there are some words, some key words when we're talking about prob probability that will help you to know when to use each one. And then we're going to go through lots of examples. Okay? All right. So let's go to the next slide. The intersection symbol represents when two conditions occur together, like the two roads. So this one, this card fits into two conditions. It's both a two and it's also a spade. Right? So do you see that's two of spades, so it has two conditions. You see the word and there, okay? And so we use the intersection symbol to describe probabilities and equations where you see the word and. And this should go, go in your notes. The probability of A and B is the same as the probability of A intersect B. And means both things have to be happening at one time. Both things are happening at the same time. So that two of spades, for example, it's a two and it's a spade. And so that would use the intersection symbol. Okay? Now, for the other symbol, Okay, oops, sorry, they're going to do an example. So let's say we're drawing a card from a deck and we want a card that's both seven and red. Well, since it's not naming a suit, it's just naming a color, there are two sevens that are also red, the seven of hearts and the seven of, of diamonds, right? So there are two cards out of 52, and since it's an and statement, you see how they've written the probability here? The probability of A intersect B is 2 out of 52, which they have also changed into a decimal, which they've also changed into a percent. Okay? Now here, the only difference between those two is that the, the uh, fraction has been simplified or reduced, right? And remember, if you put that in your calculator, it will automatically pop this one out for you. Okay? All right. So, 
and always means intersection. Right. The U symbol is the union symbol, which means that you can have or, okay? And unless they tell you otherwise, that means it's one or the other or both. It's called the inclusive, the inclusive or. So it can be one condition or condition two, or it can be both. So in this case, all of these cards are either an ace, right, two aces, or a diamond, both of these are diamonds, right, or both. This one is both an ace and a diamond at the same time, okay? So in your notes, you need to write that, just clear this, the U symbol, the union is the union symbol and represents when you have the word or, okay? Might get a better description in just a moment. Let me look just to be sure, okay? All right, here we go. This is a better description of it. We can use the union symbol to describe probabilities and equations where we'd use the word, the inclusive or, and again, don't worry about inclusive or, that means both can happen at the same time. They have to tell you if it's not, otherwise it's always inclusive. So the probability of A or B or both, that's what inclusive means, is represented as the probability of the union of A and B, A union B. So that means a joining together of anything that would fit in any of those categories. And it's, it's important you understand those words and and or so that you know which symbols to use and which things to include and which to exclude from your probability, okay? So let's say we're drawing a card from a deck and we wanna draw a card that's either a two or a spade or both, okay? So think about it. Drawing a two is a good thing. Drawing a spade is a good thing. So that means both of those things are fine and having the two of spades is fine as well. So if you think of all the spades, there are 13 spades. There are four twos, but we've already counted this one, so we only have to count three more, right? Uh, so we can count that again, though, because we want the union. So 13, 14, 15, 16, right? We do get to include this because it's inclusive. So that's 16 cards out of our 52, which reduces, right? So. Right, just counting those up, there are 13 there, 14, 15, 16. So 16 out of 52, which reduces to four over 13. There's just the changing it to a decimal and there's changing it to a percent. Make sure you practice move changing back and forth, converting to those different units, okay? Excellent. Rosa wants to draw a card that's both red and an ace. Okay. Remember that if calling red card A and that drawing an ace B, draw the appropriate symbol out of, out of union or intersection. Well, she wants to draw a card that has and, and is always intersection. So A intersect B. Okay, so you're gonna be doing some exercises like that. All right. Let's go to the next one. So the next thing we're gonna look at is using probability descriptions to calculate experimental probabilities of weather and students in class. Remember, experimental probabilities, that's when you're actually doing the experiment, right? So it's never going to be perfect like theoretical probability. So remember the two, the difference between the two of them. So experimental and theoretical probability. However, if you do enough experiments, it usually gets pretty close to the theoretical. Keep that in mind as well. So the theoretical probability of rolling a one on a die is one in six. But if you actually rolled a die, it's very unlikely that that would happen. Remember, we've talked about that in previous sections. So here we go. If we take observations or a survey, we can write our findings in a table. And you're gonna see a lot of information written in these tables. These are called two-way tables, okay? 
And the reason they're two-way tables is that you have information going in columns and in rows. So for example, for car one, it was silver, right? Car red, I'm sorry, car three was red. That's specific information for each one of them. So the intersection of car color and which car it is, is the answer for a particular section, okay? So you need to be able to read these very well, and you're gonna see a lot of them, okay? I'm gonna be doing lots of sections with, with these. And we can see that they have different attributes. Car one is silver, it's going 21 kph, and it had two people in it. And you can see for the others, yeah? So we're gonna use this information to answer some questions, but pay attention to and, or, or. Now this is an experiment because this, this student was actually looking at cars passing her on, onto her street, okay? So that means she actually saw them. So this is not theoretical probability. This probably wouldn't happen exactly in the same way if you watched cars on your street, right? So that's why it's theoretical. So using the data below, we want to know what is the experimental probability of a car driving onto Nikita Street being white or having at least two passengers or both, okay? So this is the probability that it's white or, that means union, and it has at least two passengers, okay? Or both, okay? And again, we as long as they don't tell us it can't be, we assume that it can be both, okay? So all we need to do is look on here and every car that makes that possible then is a winner. So probability that a car is white. Well, there's only one white car, so that means car four is in our set of pro the probability, yes? But then we can also have any car that has at least two passengers. So this is two, this has five, and this has two, so we can use all of those. Well, we already have car four on our list, so we're not gonna we're not gonna do it twice. But we we know that even though it matches both conditions, that's still fine. This is the inclusive or. So we'll add car one and car two to our list. And so that means three. And remember, there were only four cars in the survey, so three out of four of those cars would satisfy this condition. Therefore, the probability that a car is white and has at least two passengers is three-fourths, or three out of four. So you're just gonna read the information from the chart to be able to tell you about the probability. Now, they're gonna go through that one in just a second, so we'll just walk through the rest of the slides on this. Remember, experimental probability is the number of successes over the number of trials. We're talking about or here, so that means union, so the probability of A union B, and they, they did A and B because they let A be the probability of a white car, B, B with the probability of at least two passengers. That way they didn't have to write as much as I did. Remember, I wrote it out in words. They're using symbols to represent each one, which is perfect as long as you define it somewhere. You can't just say A and B and be talking about white cars and two passengers without telling us that that's what that means somewhere, okay? So most people just put it in the probability statement. Here we go, so we're looking at these, and if you look at the arrows, those are the same ones that I circled. And so that's three cars out of the four cars, and they give you all of the possible ways that you could write that, fraction, decimal, or percent. Okay, so really easy when the information is presented in a table to read the information and keep it focused. All right, you're gonna go do some probabilities using some weather, okay? And I am going to assign you some work tomorrow based on this information. So, and is intersection, or is union, and you already know not means it just can't be that thing. All right, then I'll see you in class next time. Thanks, guys.